Hello, this is Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick and I'm talking with Rolf Eberhardt, Head of Service Orchestration at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, HPE. Rolf, thanks for talking to us. Good to see you. Let's start with a really nice easy one. What is zero touch automation? Zero touch automation is about getting your services done without anybody having to move a finger, except maybe the guy who's pressing the button. But after that, it's all done. So it purely is, and seriously, it is total automation throughout the system, Correct. top to bottom. Automation of the system, afterwards making sure that when something goes wrong, ideally it fixes itself. If it cannot fix itself, you go and ask somebody, hey, how should I fix it properly? Now, HPE, very famous vendor, of course. Um, what's the best thing you think the vendor community can do to help CSPs in their transformation journey. This transformation journey now has been going on for some time, several years. It must be getting closer to conclusion. Whereabouts are CSPs on it and where can HPE and other vendors help? Well, the transformation is actually never ending. We've been in waves, if you look at it, over the last couple of years. And I think one of the important things for us as a, as a vendor, as a supplier, is to bring good software technology in, which will allow us to do the transformation. And this is not just taking rehashed software, which has been up in the market for years, but really thinking into an R&D and finding new novel ways of, of, changing, of changing our software technology so that we become more flexible, more dynamic. It's a key word. You can't hear them anymore. Agile, flexibility, yakety yak. These things are really important for us in, from a software perspective to provide interesting technology to our customers. Back to automation, Rolf, just for a moment. How will automation, which we've already discussed to some extent, how will automation help CSPs provide their customers with the best possible quality of experience? There, a, a customer appreciates three things. First of all, that it's easy to buy. Second, you shouldn't notice that it operates. And number three, it should be trivial to move from where he is today onto the new services, the migration. We are pretty much understanding the self-service bit. With zero touch automation, we're getting into a pretty good mode of operations. Migration, I don't think we've understood that as an industry. That's the next big gap. And if we don't get migration right, it will be very difficult to bring our customers from the legacy world into the new. Can we, could you expand on that a little further for us? And because obviously central to the notice of transformation, inherent to it is the concept of migration, being able to do Absolutely. so. So what's the problem? Are there, is there one overarching problem or are there many smaller ones making up a greater whole? There is. <clears throat> there is one major problem if you look into the enterprise market, and that's that the equipment which is within the telcos network is well understood by the CSPs. However, everything along the edge is completely uncontrolled. Usually a telco does not know what's in, uh, in the edge, how it's configured, what services are running on it. And if you take a network or a customer who then has 100,000 CSPs, uh, CS, uh, devices, and you have to migrate these devices to the new world, you will have to send equipment engineers to understand and reconfigure these systems on the new, on the new environment. And business cases will not fly. Okay, that's plain enough. We'll come to maybe how you mitigate that in, in due course. But let's, let's carry on with automation, Rolf, back to it again. I mean, the hype around 5G at the moment is hyper-hyped, is it not? But how important is automation going to be to preparing for genuine real 5G? 5G is the mobile world catching up to what has been going on in the business world. In the business world, we have flexible devices, flexible services, virtualization. Slicing is the first step going in this direction. And we know from the, the classic business world that we will not be able to create zero-touch automation without an appropriate tool support. Hence, the hype which we need for 5G to be in the same level. Okay. Now then, can we refer back to what we were talking about just now? How do you mitigate the problems that you were discussing about quality of experience and so on, given the scenario that we're, the transformation journey is a continuing transformation journey, 5G is, is very hyped at the moment, but we are moving towards it. 
How, does, how do all those parts fit together? The, um, the, the key challenge for me lies in the migration bit. We have to make it easy for our customers, our end customers, to move from a legacy environment to the new environment. The technology, I would say, is almost there. With, um, there's a, a notion called intent-based modeling, which, which has been creeping into the SDN world, and now uh, some of the more modern uh, vendors are bringing this into the orchestration OSS world. You would, you'll notice there that this technology is ideal to, to discover, to build complete service models out of, out of a device and understanding what actually is happening in the network, even on the customer side. And with this functionality, you can actually introduce zero-touch migration into the network and into the service model of our customers. Right. Get it. That makes good sense. The last one then, Rolf, uh, which is a slightly different take on things. What are the operational and cultural challenges for CSPs when it comes to automating key functions in the network? The, the key challenge for the telco industry is to learn how to become agile, is to learn how to, to make mistakes, to respond quickly to them, and to, to implement improvement measures. And this is a, a functionality which needs to be learned on the technical level, on the organizational and on the business process level. It's a, it's a journey. I have some customers, they, they've, they're on this journey. I say it's a three-year journey. If you wait another year, it's still going to take you three years to, to get to the organization to understand it. So my recommendation to our customers, start now, make the mistakes, you'll make them anyway, but at least you will not be left behind because there are others which are, who are moving very fast. Are any of your customers taking your advice yet? Yes, I would say half of them are taking it. The other half are seriously considering it, but they haven't found the, the, the right way to translate this into the organization because any, trans, any such transformation has to happen top down and this means the organization needs to understand what it means to become agile. Good interview. Thank you very much. Of Eberhard, thank you very much. I appreciate it.